On today's stream, I watched even more of the most terrifying ghost sighting videos on YouTube. Now, as always, all these videos came from the channel Bizarre Bub. This is a channel that compiles scary ghost sighting videos into one big compilation for our viewing pleasure. And we sit down and we try and break them down and see whether we think they're real, fake, or just downright bad. But nonetheless, pretty much all of them are always entertaining. And this is no exception. There were some interesting videos in this compilation. And then to top it all off, we checked out the channel Luxury Dark for their interesting take on paranormal content. Either way, this was, as usual, a whole lot of fun. And if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I do plenty of paranormal reaction content over on my Twitch. So you should follow this so you never miss these streams live. But I get it, you can be busy. So something to this channel means you never miss the upload of VODs to watch them at your convenience. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. Let's carry on. The following video comes from a local news station in Peru that caught something pretty creepy on camera. The station had featured a news report showing footage of a small town struck by severe weather. Residents of this town were left devastated by this natural disaster, but many of them were left totally creeped out after watching this broadcast. Which I guess is more significant? This doesn't sound it. I reckon the weather conditions are still their Hello, biggest Dan, deal. I have somewhere in a little bit, so I just want to stop by and say hi and have a great stream. That's okay. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the 100 bits. Appreciate Something you. strange was captured. The segment in question starts off with footage of a school playground that oh. appears to be complete. An abandoned school playground. Surely there are no ghosts here. <laughs> I love when these videos are set in the most, like, stereotypical creepy location. Like, you're telling me that this, uh, this place is, yeah, uh, wow. You couldn't have guessed it. Also, can I ask a question without spoiling too much? I have to go to Cologne, Germany, uh, in... Uh, at the months. end of August Hope you've had a good and I day, want Jack to do a Lee. paranormal investigation while I'm in Germany we were going to go to the place let me get you the name um, House Fullingen in Cologne however it's completely abandoned and I would like somewhere that I could call up and go can I film here and they go yes so that when I get there and on the off chance that in this abandoned place because I spoke to Sam and Colby about it the lovely lovely boys they are and I was like hey uh, do you know any places in Germany I could film just because, like, this place is, a, is like, abandoned and, like, that could not be good? And they were like, uh, feel you on the better, safe than sorry. Don't get arrested in an abandoned place. Trust before, me. But I and I thought... The game, love. Sam, it's really fun and spooky and only takes a few hours to play. Maybe. Maybe and we'll give that a look, actually. Trail of PTSD. We'll give that a look. Thank you for the suggestion. But uh, the boys were like, yeah, don't get arrested in abandoned locations. Trust us. Especially when you're in a foreign country. And I was like, that's a very good point. Um... So they they've given me some um they give me some suggestions. But in chat, if anyone knows any haunted supposedly haunted lo locations in Germany, specifically around the Cologne area, that would be great. That aren't hopefully just abandoned and are places I can call them and go, "Hello? Hello? Hello? You like the ancient ramen? Like we called and they were like, "Yes, you can come film here." New vlog, I got arrested. That's like not the goal, especially because it's it, it's kind of tied in with a brand deal and I doubt that they wanted like I doubt they want to, like, sponsor I Got Arrested. It's probably a bad look for their brand, I would hazard, I guess. So, go, we hit it! Yes! Thank you for hating this, so go, I appreciate you guys. Anyway, let's carry on. Completely devoid of any children. It is devoid of children, yes. Los infantiles se salvaron de la furia de la naturaleza. Los columpios sube y baja quedaron flotando en el agua en That's probably why there's no children there, because of the now flood. The reporter makes it clear that the site has been abandoned Hello, as heavy Manifold. rain... Looking Hello. today, King. Thanks for all you do. Hey, thank you for all you do, which is seven months of prime. Appreciate it. ...have flooded the area. The segment then shows more footage of other sites that have also been left behind. But one clip in particular has left many viewers feeling a bit weird. In mm. fact, they were How left feeling weird. beyond spooked upon noticing something strange in the recording. Oh, admittedly, this is like a 240... You know when they had all those like high-quality like film cameras for the news? I was like, wow. This is going to be some high quality footage. And then it cuts to like the fucking Motorola flip phone footage. I'm like, ah, never. Well, now I'm a little bit. We'll see. We'll, we'll a see. section of the town known as Santo Domingo went out of nowhere. This oh, I ain't throwing out the Spanish, bro. I didn't know Bizarre Bob could speak like that. How did the person filming not freak the As fuck the out? Hands over to the base of the stairs. A strange figure can be seen. They freaked me the fuck out. I went, oh, the hell is that? 
Weird our dog. Shut up, man. Weird our dog. As like a, like a cryptid. Oh my lordy lord, fearful. Indeed. Oh my lordy lord, indeed. They've been 18 months. It's hard to make out what exactly is being seen here. It's like a, a, I want to say that one more time, like the original. How casually they film it is what freaks me out. Only in Santo Domingo? Well, as if this is like a place where this shit happens. Someone in the chat was just like, ah, oh, only in Santo Domingo. That's crazy. But what what is it? They don't react. It, it, it's too close to the camera and obvious for the cameraman not to react. Like, what is it? That's my friend Jim, by the way. Sorry about him. Ah, well, there. <laughs> Thank you for answering in such swift amount of time. Perfect. Never mind. It's Jim, everyone. We figured it out. Yeah, that is weird, though. I don't trust that this is actually paranormal. I figure if it was, the reaction wouldn't be like this. But that is weird. Like, I admit that it's weird. It does seem really odd. How could Ninos go down that stairs? I agree. As the camera pans over to the base of the stairs, a strange figure can be seen. It's hard to make out what exactly is being seen here, but it's clear that someone or something is there. This mysterious figure moves in such a way as though struggling to get a grip on the staircase. Because of all the water! Residents of the town no doubt believe that this may have been the ghost of a victim who was claimed by this natural disaster. I don't think... I have my doubts, bizarre bub. I reckon that was a real thing on account of how real it looked. I just don't know what it was. But again, it was filmed on a Motorola flip phone. I mean, it's hard to really... I don't know. Girl, that's a creature. Sure, Sorry, maybe it's like Creatura, but I don't think it's a ghost. You were streaming. Hopefully I can get a little bit of art done, but I doubt it. I read that as fart. I really, really read that as... Sorry, I'm late, Jack. Just saw you were stream streaming. Hopefully I can get a little bit of fart. And I was like, ah! Okay, buddy. But it's still a mystery as to who or even what this might have been. Now it's worth noting that now. the reporter didn't anyway. notice the figure while filming. Yeah, which exactly. Which has led viewers to believe that something supernatural was captured. Hey, Queen. 26 months cool. Thank you for the 26 months. I don't know. I've never experienced anyone filming something on camera that they couldn't see in real life. Unless it was in the distance and just hard to notice. And that was pretty fucking obvious. But as always, you be the judge. And maybe it was just someone trying to get up the stairs and they'd slipped. But the camera made them look weird because it's really low quality. something paranormal appear. That is weird, though. Didn't notice the figure while filming. And maybe someone slipped. I don't know. But they are weirdly, like... That looks like there's, like, like that much arm, which is crazy. I don't know. I just, I, um, I just have my doubts. Just led viewers... Jack, they caught you on video. Well done, buddy. Well done, buddy. Yeah, it's paparazzi footage. Fuck you. Look at the texture. It's made in Blender. Oh, actually, wait. Seemed like it did do a little bit of a, like a, a slide. Or that holding a stick. Yeah, I know. It's just, I don't know. I'm not, captured. I'm not sure. It's weird. It is weird. Like, I, it made me feel a bit weird, but I just don't trust that it's a ghost. You, know? you be the judge. Did something paranormal appear? Or was something else? It does w move weirdly. It moves like it's animated. Someone said it's made in Blender, and I do kind of get that. Capture. Like, it, it does move weirdly. That's the killer. Shit, we better inform Wendy There's Williams. There's a store in Brazil that is well known for selling electronics and other consumer products for low wow. prices. Wow, looks like a nice store. I actually, I'd fucking love to, I love stores like that. I love going to, like, secondhand tech stores and trying to find, like, an old PlayStation to buy. Just, like, pull apart. There's a store in Brazil. This place looks really up my street. I want to go. To, I want to go to this store in Brazil. Brazil that is well known for selling electronics and What's other the name? products for low prices. If it's prices. so well known, tell me about it. But aside from being known for its competitive deals, the store is known. <laughs> it's like he's on a marketing deal for them. He's like, but just it, like, wait, 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 run that back. It's for low prices. But aside from being well known for selling electronics and other consumer products for low prices, <laughs> but aside from being known for its competitive deals, why is this an ad? Besides being known for its competitive deals and very low prices, are you sponsored? Is the hashtag ad, bro? Who's sponsoring Bizarre Bub to like? Oh, our store had a ghost. Also, tell everyone how fair the prices are. 
I hear Bizarre Bob has great viewership in Brazil. The store is known for being haunted. Now, even though there's been a couple of stories from employees who've seen strange things at work, mm. only one video has caught footage of something pretty baffling. Okay. The video starts off with employees of the store looking over at security footage from last night. Uh -huh. But as they continue to watch, something happens that spooks them out of their minds. Makes their hairs stand on end, Take clearly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the way it like floats as well. That's odd. That's the one. So, it has a cloak! It's wearing that Jacksep Jacksepticeye merch. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. That does just look like a cloak being traipsed around. That doesn't see it. it it's moving like a, just a, like 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 someone with a broom under the cloak is just like walking along like this. Like they've got like a broom and like, the cloak draped on it. Like it doesn't seem. I don't think that it's fake. Like the video is edited. The fact that they're filming it on a camera and it looks to still be within the works, like security software Sorry, and stuff. Sorry, guys, it was me sleepwalking. Ah, uh, again, this guy knows everything. First, it was their friend Jim. Now they're sleepwalking. It all makes sense. They're wearing their like uh, traditional sleep gown. You know, like um, they're wearing uh, like uh, um, you know, they're wearing um. Bro was just getting the best sleep of their life. Like, hold on, let me... Can we go onto the... Can we please look at the images? I'm clicking the images tab and it just won't load. Here we are. Bro was just getting the best sleep um, of their life. Let me, let me, where is it? Bro's out there looking like this. Just trying to get well <laughs> in their silk PJs and sleep cap. <laughs> and their, and their Latin. They were just, they, they were just like... Sleepwalking, you know what I mean? They, they were just, they were just well rested. A mysterious figure appears out of nowhere and makes its way across the store. It appears to be cloaked in a white garment as it seemingly floats above ground. According to one of the workers, it doesn't appear to have feet, which viewers believe doesn't is doesn't appear to have fucking anything inside of it. It just looks like a bit of cloth the way it's like fucking billowing. To prove this as being supernatural. That is Given just a cloth. Stiff composure, Viewers are further convinced that this was something otherworldly. Oh, just a cloth on a broom! And that's why it's stiff, because it's a broom! I don't trust it, I'll be honest. This looks like a bunch of employees just doing a prank and then putting it on Reddit. Like, I do feel that they actually filmed this. That is a physical object, but I do not think it's a ghost. At all. So far, not impressed by this video, but we've got, like, 24 video minutes left. So, you know. Thank you for the uh, Prime, appreciate it. Thank you for the uh, 14 months. Also, thank you for the, uh, the uh, hype chat. I'm questioning the way this picture is going. There's too much cake. And not the kind you can... Well, I guess you could... What? What? For a, for, a, for a $10 hype chat, someone said, Jack, I'm questioning the way this picture is going. There's too much cake. And not the kind you can... Dot, dot, dot. Well, I guess you could, depending on what you're into. But I don't know what you mean, you freak. What do you mean? What are you saying? Never donate things like this. I don't know what you mean. So then, was a ghost caught on camera? No. Or had something else appeared on tape? Yeah, maybe like a cloth, I would assume. Or a cloak. On March 23rd of 2023, somewhere in Oregon, ah! a motorcyclist was recording footage of an off-road trail when something completely unexpected had occurred. I'm, I'm willing, to, I reckon this one's gonna be fucking weird. I think just a guy with a GoPro just like kind of like filming his biking isn't like, 
I reckon he's I reckon this is just a complete accidental capture and I think that's gonna be weird. This motorcyclist, whose name is Eden, has been here before, but for some reason, he seems uneasy this time around. He can't shake the feeling that something is very different about this path. Now it wasn't until traveling further up that something pretty creepy was captured. Take a look. Okay. This is biking. Literal animal bones. Oh wow, yeah. That is kind of creepy. Did you get stuck on that branch? Oh, this, way. Uh, this is a creepy little this walkway. Is where most people would turn around. If you turn around and you never get to see what's on the other side, that's where all the gold is waiting over there. Oh, I love his mindset. He's based. He's based. Out what's on the other side? Yeah, you do not want to miss out, brother. What was that? What did you missing hear? out what's on the other side. Oh, bobcat. Well, that's fine. That's just nature, bro. The sound of someone or something approaching Eden can be heard close. Yes, a fucking bobcat! What? Oh, don't do this to... Clearly, he doesn't want the gold that bad. It was a bobcat. Right, that's pissed me off. That's pissed me off. The guy's like, could this be a ghost? It's literally captioned bobcat noises. Was by. Although it could be that a bobcat was heading towards Eden, as the pile of animal bones seemed to suggest that this was its lair, he couldn't help but Surely think. Surely not. What a sensible thing to say. Something else was nearby. Fearing for his safety, he promptly turns around and heads home. Now, it wasn't until months later that Eden had returned to the spot, but unlike before, something happens oh, that terrifies okay, him. Okay, okay, wait, there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. Okay, wait, there's more, guys. There's more. I, I judged it too harshly. Score. Watch. Oh, God. Bones are still here. I don't like this at all. Oh, God, there's even more bones than last time. Yeah, it's been a few months since you, I filmed the last video. You're just honestly, I've just been too scared to come up here. Definitely a lot more overgrown than last time. I'm hoping that since it's been such a long time that I don't think anything will happen this time. I think that tree is actually gone. This road's been cleared. Looks like we've already passed it a while ago, but that tree is gone. Okay. It's nice. Oh! It's just dark as hell in here. I'm probably gonna turn around soon. It is very dark, actually. That'd be fucking freaky. He doesn't have a lamp on his bike either. Oh, there's two ways. Holy crap, dude. This trail going on forever. It just got really quiet really fast. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, there are. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was my cue to go. That was my cue to leave. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the woods all of a sudden go quiet. But during this unusual silence, Eden sees what looks to be a tall, pale looking figure emerging from the bushes. I'm going to give my two cents here, and I hate that I'm going to say it, but I, I, I think it's faked. I'd love to believe it. Well, I wouldn't, because that's fucking horrific. But, like, it's a good video. It's a creepy video. It had me on edge. But it's too constructed, right? This is the narrative I believe. This is, this is what I think. The guy went out to this trail, okay? He, he drove out the first time. He hears the bobcat noises. All right? And then he dips because he gets scared by the bobcat. He posts it on TikTok because I assume he posts or, or somewhere. I assume he uploads these videos. He seems very charismatic. It feels like these are going out on the internet, right? Right? 
and then it does well because all these ghost people are like, oh, what if it was something creepy? What if it wasn't just a bobcat? And the guy's like, shit, that TikTok did like insane. I should go back, but I need to one up myself. So he goes down the path. He brings a friend. The friend just like goes and hides in the woods. He then struggles to start the engine because that was really tense and really, really cool. But also like, what a perfect, what a perfect, perfect like tension building moment, right? And then he drives off. I don't know. I just, yeah, it's on TikTok. Exactly. I just, I, I don't know. I have my doubts. My thinking is that this was made for TikTok views. And it's a cool video. And like, it is freaky. And like, I don't hate it. But like, I don't think it's real. That or that is just a bobcat. But to me, it, it looks too like humanoid. Movie, the woods all of a sudden go quiet. But during this unusual silence, Eden sees what looks to be a tall, pale looking figure emerging from the bushes. I know what bobcats look like, but I don't think that's a bobcat. I'm going to be honest. Oh, no, that's not a bobcat. It's nothing like. That's what, this is a bobcat. Got the hair, actually. These are bobcats. I mean, that, that's a tractor, but... Oh, my God, that's adorable. Oh, I got hiccups. But I, I don't think... I, I think the, the, the limbs seem too... Upon too long closely, on this thing. It appears to be crouching and walking. You know what I mean? I don't think that's a bobcat. But... What? I'm not saying Palacat? What's that? Oh, well, they look like that. Their face is weird. They have a weird face. They're cool. Are these those little guys that sit on their tails? They sit on their tails, right? To keep their little feet warm? Am I right about... Are, they, are these those guys? Are those different guys? IDK, I think that one may have been real. Even if not a ghost, I don't think he faked it. Felt real. I, I don't know. The engine not starting is just so mighty convenient as a horror trope. I'm right? Oh, I, I've seen these guys. They're cute. Uh, sat on tail. Stood. They, they stand on their tails. To keep their paws warm in the snow. I want one. Can you buy one for us, Jack? We can't buy one, I don't think. They're probably not. Like, it's probably like, like you know how like baby chimpanzees look cute, but then like, they'll like tear your face off. I feel like it's like that. But they, they sit on their tails to keep their little paws warm. I like those guys. They're cool. Anyway. I don't think it's one of those either. Looking slowly, it could so be a bobcat. I oh, no. Terrified beyond belief. My only start. belief is that he saw a bobcat. I don't believe he saw anything fucking creepy out there. Starts the bike while trying to catch his breath. But to make things even more tense, the bike doesn't start. Eventually it does. That's so convenient does, At which point Eden speeds away for the sake of his life. He has no idea as to what this might have been. But some viewers believe that this might have been a skinwalker or some sort of supernatural entity. Indeed. I'm, I'm course, wow. What are your thoughts? To this My day, thoughts are that it probably is. Serves to remind him that some places aren't worth further exploring. Wow. I can't help but agree. In the following video, a woman is lying in bed when she points her finger to the ceiling. Although the person who's with her has no idea as to what she's seeing, it's what happens next that leaves them pretty spooked. Mm. Now, the person who's recording her is her daughter. And the reason she took this video is because as of recent, her mother has been acting strange. Erica Ponce, the daughter recording this, states that her mother has always been a sensible and healthy woman. Okay, her, there she is. She's more than just a parent, but a friend as well. And just like friends, they would often go out and spend time with each other. From having mother-daughter <laughs> Wow, that is nice. their favorite baseball stadium. No, to be fair, some people that have the relationship with that, their parent, that kind of relationship with their parents, I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't laugh. This is like, sometimes they would go out with each other. I'm like, Children wow. Less than three. But actually, some people don't do that. So, you know, fair enough. I actually will be fair. Rain bounds alive. Thank you for two months. To shopping at the fanciest mall in town on a very low budget, Erica can't imagine a world without her mother. Oh, bless. But unfortunately, one day, something pretty devastating had occurred. Erica's mom was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Oh, that's sad. According to the doctor, her days were numbered. Christ. Her life is expected to end soon. Over time, the mother-daughter dates had become less frequent before eventually- That was what I, my assumption was when I saw her in the bed. She looked like she was maybe on like sort of end-of-life care, but I, 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 I'm... 
I didn't want to say it in case I was wrong. Stopping completely. Erica's mom was too sick to go out. Oh, bless her. Understandably. Oh, yeah, she does look sick. Now, seeing the original videos of her, she does look very this sick. was too much for Erica. Hey, good morning. Um, good morning. I had um, a really, really bad week. Bless. Now, as time went on, Erica noticed that her mom has been acting slightly off. She's been saying and saying. I cannot stand it with these stock images sometimes, Bizarre Bub. How are you going to say, the old lady has been saying, so you looked up stock image of old woman mouth to pop on screen as to demonstrate that the old lady was talking. Are you going to tell us this sad story and then be like, old lady mouth? Christ. Seeing things that don't make sense. One day, she grabs her phone to record this strange common occurrence, but unlike previous incidents, this one has left her speechless. Okay. Take a look. See what you see. Angels. And where are they at? Uh, the ceiling. The ceiling? I don't see anything, Mom. I don't see anything. You see them? Kind of waiting for something. I don't see anything. Are they making you happy? Yes. Yeah? Well, that's good. I suppose that's How all many? that matters. Four. 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 Interesting. Weird little thing. Uh, interesting that she said four, like, because angel numbers are like, like numbers repeating three times, right? Like, it's like Have one, 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 two, 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 three. Remember to drink water, eat some food, and get some good sleep. Less Thank you. Three. I shall also be doing that after the stream. Uh, but it's, it's interesting that she said, she said four, three times, you know, like angel numbers. It's just. I mean, like, she's a completely lucid woman who could have an understanding, well, but maybe not completely lucid, but, but possibly still somewhat lucid woman who could have an understanding of angel numbers and therefore just said it that way because, you know, she's thinking about angels. But, interesting. Interesting. Or, um, Nothing happened. Erica's mom seems to be seeing something on the ceiling. She believes that her mother had actually seen something, angels in this case, as she was expected to pass away soon. Viewers can't help but think the same, as they too have witnessed loved ones say the same thing before dying. According to them, some people will see a deceased relative or friend whose purpose is to make them feel comfortable before crossing over to the other side. Now, whether or not that's true is up to you to decide. But knowing this brings Erica comfort, as her mother had recently passed away. Oh. Watching this video reassures her that I kind of expected realm, that, but her mother still is sad. in good hands. But as always, what do you think? Like all videos, you be the judge on whether or not something was present during this recording. I have a really, um, I have a really mixed sort of bag of emotions when it comes to that specific phenomena. Um, in the sense that if someone is a religious person uh, or, or, you know, believes believes in the afterlife, whatever, whatever, ha you know, what have you, uh, I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if the, the, the human mind, we don't really know a, a whole lot about the human mind when it begins to sort of die. Uh, and, you know, hallucination when someone is, is sort of falling into lucidity, like falling in and out of lucidity isn't unusual and for someone to see something before they die and for that thing to be spiritual religious makes sense because they know they're about to die and that's what they expect and my and my my scientific mind the the part of my brain that's logical explains it that way it's just it, 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 they're not actually seeing anything it's simply their brain comforting them as they you know sort of slowly you know pass away and, and that's still a comforting thought i don't think that's that's any less comforting uh, the, the fact that your brain finds a way to sort of comfort you is, is a nice thing. 
Um, however, it, it's the reason I I I'm not a hundred percent sold on that answer is because I know of stories of like that personally. Um, when my when my great grandma passed, um, the, the the exact same thing happened. She didn't describe seeing angels, but she started calling out to like family members who she reckoned she could see, uh, who were were coming to her. Um. Blah. Uh, my brain switched off. She, 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 like reckoned they were like there to like collect her essentially. Uh, but it's it's the events that happen in conjunction with that that makes me uh give it like like you know if that was the case and that was it. But there were weird occurrences that happened in and around like that hospital room as she was passing away. People seeing things. People feeling presences. Like you know, just just strange occurrences that happened around her sort of passing uh, the other people who were there experienced that make me think that maybe there is something more to it um i don't know i don't know i i'm not i'm not wholly convinced that people do see things but i'm also not wholly convinced that my explanation of you know people's brains just comforting them is is current you know Yeah, and no, someone said it in chat, and I, I think this is a very good point. There's been atheists who, after having an experience where their heart stopped and they were revived, said they saw nothing. And there's been Christians who, after their heart stopped and then being revived, say they saw heaven. The brain is mysterious and powerful. It, exactly that. But sometimes, yeah, it's just um, as... I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say, but like... When other people in the room, people who are lucid and present experience things as well then i maybe think huh is there any is there something more to this and that's why <coughs> i think that oh my god am i i'm getting a little bit <coughs> i'm getting a little bit of lag i apologize the stream's lagging just a touch not very much but i apologize i might just uh just drop the i just drop the bit rate bless just you. a bit thank you for blessing me just drop the bit rate a little bit, see if that makes it a bit better. Thank you for blessing me, everybody. Thank you for the 100 bits blessing me. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about videos like that. It's late at night when a man who's by himself enters an abandoned house. He I was about to say, yeah, uh, he's in an abandoned house, no wonder. Oh, no, no, I don't trust this one already. God say, I don't believe anything from today's video. I'm sorry I'm so skeptical today, but... This is that one channel, Fourth Wall. You know that Japanese one that made the video, you may see this ghost if you have long COVID? This is the COVID ghost, people. I already doubt them. Whenever I see videos from this channel, like the first video I ever saw from this channel, I totally believed. But then I looked at their history and they made, you may see this ghost when you have long COVID. And from now on, everything they've ever done, I uh, completely lacks credibility with me. So yeah, this is the long COVID ghost, people. So take whatever we see with a grain of salt the place as though acting with caution this house according to him has a very strange history okay. now the district where the house is located has prohibited anyone from entering the place and for good reason there's something about this house that isn't right neighbors say that an old man used to live here before eventually <laughs> passed no old people with homes what a waste kick them to the streets passing away from old age What's strange about this, though, is that nobody else was living with him. This job. Old people living alone? No! Kick them to the. I don't know why they're like getting heated over this old man having a house. Giant building with lots of rooms and cryptic artifacts belonged to one single man who lived all alone. But strange of all, are the effects that nobody all else his walls of paint, apparently, which is weird. Place after his passing. Nearby residents have seen shadowy figures standing near the windows of the second floor. And the sound of children laughing during the nighttime. Oh, that is a bit Knowing odd. This, the man treads. That is weird as well, given the man was an old man and not a child. So even if it was his ghost that possessed this place, it's weird that there's little kids. Carefully, as he expects someone or something to appear, he walks around. When only moments later, this happens. That's his own shadow. Donkey, thank you for the quid. I think how he died is by jumping down the stairs, and I know because I know everything. <laughs> what 
Why on earth would you possibly rip the door open with so How much fucking you? force? Long COVID ghost is my best I, friend. I apologize. I'm sorry for not believing your best friend. Why would you? He's clearly opened the door like that just to put the viewer on edge. That ought to, to beat the, the fucking ghosts to the, like, the, beat the ghosts to the fucking strike. Like, jump scare them before they can jump scare him. Oh, is this golf clubs? That's some perfectly good clubs. I'm not encouraging he steals from this place, but also it is abandoned and the old man's dead. He's not using the clubs. If it was me. That's all I'm saying. It's a very big house. Fucking hell. I swear I heard like a FNAF footstep noise in that. I fucking love Japanese homes. They're so interesting. Like larger homes like this. That's a cool little model. You couldn't have guessed that was gonna happen. This happens in all their videos, right? They've got such a formula. I've noticed the more I see from this channel, they'll like focus in on an object, like feigning interest, which basically just allows for what I assume is their assistant to uh, to run over and knock something over. And then they pan over. Like it happens every time that they're focusing on an object and, and it like, because that, cause that also like, because you're like, because you, yeah. That makes you most susceptible for a jump scare. You'll notice it in movies. If the if it's if a camera holds a long shot on an object, makes you really like let your guard down and look at an object, then the jump scare hits is a good way of making the jump scare hit harder. They're just using like, it's just it's oh it, it like it's so obviously faked. I'm not saying it's badly faked and it's entertaining, but like it's it's not, you know. Rahab uh, Afian, thank you for the prime. Have you seen anything by Twin Paranormal? They do videos like Sam and Colby, and they're pretty good. I can't say I have. I'll Their give it a look. Their house video was pretty intriguing. I'll give it a look. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Hey Jack, this is my first ever dono, and I'm broke, but you're my favorite streamer. Out of nowhere, thank you. a small golden statue seemingly falls over. The man pauses for a moment as he tries to understand how this happened. He looks around the space for anything that could possibly explain this. Yeah, but well after someone could have left through that open door there. Like, I mean, uh, it's the long COVID ghost though. It's following him. He got long COVID. And ever since then, the long COVID ghost. He actually isn't going to haunted locations. He's just being followed by the long COVID ghost. It's nothing. Somehow, the statue fell on its own. Although pretty creepy, it's what happens next that leaves them shaken up. Mm. He continues to explore the house by oh, heading upstairs. More. He sets up what a, a shock there isn't just one thing that happens in this video because it isn't fake port the entire floor from a different point of view when this is captured. this house is a gorgeous space though it's a shame that it's completely abandoned because like this is it is fucking beautiful look at that look at that stairwell that's like gorgeous i mean I, I the only reason i like these videos is because the spaces he like explores are really cool but like they're obviously fake Yeah, no, gorgeous place. I like architecture. <laughs> Hold on. That right there like, kind of looks like a silhouette. And I wonder whether that's on purpose. What, is he like, wait, what, how, how is their camera already set up? In though? just a couple of frames, a small silhouette. Oh, fuck off. That is it. Don't be stupid. can be seen. <sighs> that, that is possibly his own shadow. I don't think, I don't think, no, it can't be actually. He's too far away. It would look different. That, uh, I, I don't think it's his own shadow. I just. I think it's either someone else's or they've just like marked it onto the wall. Standing against the wall. I don't know. I just. Or, oh, actually, wait. I think it's. No, it isn't. It's the fucking. It's this, isn't it? Isn't it just that? Isn't it just this? Like, isn't it the shadow of that? Because that, that light there. Look at the way the shadow goes onto the floor and then up. It's just the shadow of this because it's roughly human. Oh my god. 
It took me five seconds to work that out. How has this landed itself in the video? compilation? Yeah, this this compilation's been rough. I think it's about bizarre, but you really don't know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get some that are obviously fake, and so I, I kind of like that the guy just like puts down anything that people can argue about. And sometimes they're really like sometimes I'm like holy fuck, I think this is real, and sometimes it's shit like this, where it is it is literally just a shadow. Ridiculous! What a fucking oh my god! In just a couple of frames, a small silhouette can be seen standing against the wall. It wasn't until later that the man had noticed this, but had he seen this during his tour of the stairs, viewers no doubt believe he would have hightailed out of there. Whatever right? Uh, yeah, the, the shadow of the, the banister. The but it's what happens next that forces him to leave at once. Oh, there's more. The man Christ. explores the second floor when he finds a couple of rooms that are mysteriously locked. Something about this does not seem right. Always a locked this house is with what these he's guys. Caught. Give me like a bang or something. Okay. Let's see what's behind door number three. Ah, what a shame it's locked. Well. What? The locked door opens? Not like some, not like the, uh, his assistant inside pushed it open because it was never locked in the first place and he's just pulling on them to make them look locked. My God. My God, man. La gasp. Come on, then where's the scary? What makes him hightail out of there? I'm still on edge, because I still think the thing will jump scare us. They're, they're good at faking things so that it gets you in the moment. But it's not hard to tell how they faked it afterwards. Alright, that's harder to fake. No, it isn't, actually. Wait, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. They just took two different shots, didn't they? That shot where he closed it like that from the outside, and then they did a separate shot where he closed it from the inside, surely. Wait, actually, wait. Hold on. Actually, I don't know how you do that one so much, because uh, someone would have to be there. Uh, look, uh, whatever. Uh, just like a, a, a string or whatever. I don't think it really is. Was he locked in? Can you imagine? That'd be fucking horrific though. Can you imagine if you got locked in a haunted building? Like a, like a, like a abandoned haunted building? That'd be fucking awful. Has he just tried to get out for ages? I mean, holy fuck, like, terrifying, co like, like, concepts. Like, really cool idea for a video. Oh, he's finally out. Does bro even grab his equipment? Bro does not even grab his equipment. Oh, and then they're like... The and then all the glitching on the camera. Fuck off, bro. As if seeing the door open on its own wasn't creepy enough, this happens. The door immediately closes as soon as the man walks in as though someone had slammed it shut. The man quickly rushes over to the door, but realizes that it's locked, but then- That's that fucking long COVID ghost for you, man. It fucks with technology. Somehow, the door suddenly becomes unlocked, at which point he bolts out of there. He <laughs> runs out as quickly Stock as possible, image of man running feet. 
<laughs> I love it. I love the stock images, To man. record the rest as the camera had stopped recording. However, it's right before then that something downright chilling was captured. Oh my god, more? As the camera pans over to the room that he just came out of, a dark figure can be seen inside. This this is too much, man. You're doing too much. If you want me to believe it, like, go and visit this haunted place and maybe just have the thing fall over. That would be enough. Like, to make me go, oh my god, this place might actually be haunted. That, that, that statue falling over was really weird. One or two things. This is, you're doing too much, bro. That is not the long COVID dose, bro. That is your pal. That is your friend Dave, all right? Fuck off. It seemingly stands there as though observing the man run Always away, this channel, bro. Knowing that whatever this was was most likely with him inside the room has left him extremely unsettled. Not much else is known about what happened later, but it seems pretty clear that this man won't be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, God so forbid then, the long COVID ghost exactly strikes again. Just that night. Until more footage is posted, this mysterious incident. Dave the ghost says, oh wait, you're trying to suggest that like, it is paranormal, but like he has the ghost on side. Like the long COVID ghost and him are like boys and they go and make these YouTube videos together. That also like, I, I, I like that idea. Uh, I, like it's not, it, it is actually paranormal, but it's not scary. Like he has the ghost on side. That's how he pulls this off. I like that idea a lot. Remains unsolved. For more info on this story, you can check out the YouTube channel for- You know what gets me? He never, ever shouts out channels. Ever. Ever, ever does he shout out channels. It, but it, like, it, like, it, I find it bizarre that, uh, like, for some reason when it comes to this channel, he always gives them a shout out. I just, I, it feels like there's some, like, like, collusion going on here. I don't know. Oh, where the full video can be found. On October 25th of 2022, yes. a paramedic posted a video of something freaky that occurred during his lunch break. The video is pretty short. No sandwich. No! 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 Sorry. My empathy kicked in. Anyway. So not much happens, but it's a certain detail caught in this footage that makes it quite disturbing. The video begins with the paramedic filming inside a hospital uh -huh. where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic wing. walks out of the hospital to sorry. report them coming through. It's just rude. I didn't have to laugh at the way he says wing, but I, ah, sorry. It isn't until later that the doctors arrive with the sick patient who, according to them, passed away only hours later. The paramedic then stops recording. What? Now, it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video. What? Wait, 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 wait. Let me listen to this again. Filming inside a hospital where a couple of surgeons are getting ready to transfer a very sick patient to a different wing. The paramedic walks out of the hospital to record them coming through. It isn't until later that the doctors arrive with the sick patient. Why on earth would you film this? Can I just say? Why on earth would you film According that? To them, passed away only hours later. They were transferring this nearly dead guy, so bro was like, ah, I'm about to film this. I'm on my lunch. I can film it. They're moving him to a different wing. What a weird thing to do. The paramedic then stops recording. Right. Now, it was only after finishing work that the paramedic had watched this video and noticed something strange about it. What's Looking that? back at the footage, they noticed that during the time they were waiting outside for the doctors to arrive, something unusual was caught in the background. I think I was just someone. I think you actually saw them walk off here. I, I, I think that's just a nurse, but it's dark. I think that's just a nurse. It looks like Grimace. It does look like Grimace. I'm glad everyone... I wasn't going to make the joke, but I, I, it does look like Grimace. I agree. Look closely at the hallway inside the hospital. A dark Grimace from McDonald's arrives. Shadow like figure. The man... No, that's disrespectful. The guy actually died. I can't make that joke. I can't. Never mind. No, 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 no. I'm backing off. I'm stopping. I'm pulling out. I thought about it and my empathy kicked in. Someone said it in chat. Never mind. Well, it's all over now. Can be seen standing at the end of the hall. It's there for just a few seconds. That's obviously just a fucking nurse. Before suddenly disappearing from sight. 
Doesn't suddenly disappear. You see it over in the corner the here. The medic has no idea as to who or even what this might have been. But judging by its appearance, viewers believe that an entity of some sort was seen. They further add that this entity... Uh, I, let's watch My it full speed again. A, a sopping wet cat According to the medic had watched something unusual. I'm nothing in the like that. Background. Tell him shut Take up. Tell my man shut up. Much like the the song. Right? Someone clearly just walks out. Here they are. Right, they walk from around that corner. And the camera goes down because obviously they're not bothered because it's just a dude. And you kind of see them right towards the end, like as the camera comes up. You can see them walk into, like, this fucking other room. Hey there, Mr. Blue. Like, you can kind of catch their leg as they walk into this room here. Hold on. Like, I think that's the back end of them. Kind of just, like, heading into the room. If you look appearing they further add that this entity might have been death itself considering that the patient in this video passed away that's they're day. wearing blue and it makes them so oddly shaped because of the way the garments fall it's just a surgeon these videos today are so weak never ask go hunt ghost hunters are the people that film school fights oh wait, no, no opposite opposite school fights can do it fuck's sake Yet it's still not sure as to what was captured. But one thing that's certain is that whoever or whatever this was didn't seem to belong in this hospital. It remains unknown as to who or what was caught on camera. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. And perhaps I will. Let's get back to the video. As with most videos involving baby monitors that capture something unexplainable on camera, this next one shows something highly unusual. You know what? At least he's self-aware. These videos are weird. Joanna Pasco posted the following Hi, video after noticing something peculiar inside her daughter's bedroom. Her daughter, named Evelyn, is Joanna's first child, who was fortunately born hey, Jack, without birth defects. Will you be playing FNAF Ruin DLC tomorrow, this week? And are you excited? I will be playing a FNAF Ruin when it comes out. Does it come out tomorrow? So, sorry, can we backpedal? Sorry, can I backpedal on what he said? Can I? Is FNAF Ruin tomorrow? Can we just establish that and then... It is. Okay, we'll play FNAF Ruin tomorrow. Might do it like 9pm, might bring it like a half an hour forward. Can we just backpedal on what he said? Her daughter, named Evelyn, is Joanna's first child, who was fortunately born without birth defects. Why on earth would you say that? Like, y yeah, that that is good, I guess. Why would you? Why would you say it? Like, it's not. Like, it's just weird. It's just a weird thing to say. He said, "Fortunately," like he's not wishing ill on the baby, but it's like. <laughs> Like, you know, if, you know, if my friend was to have a baby, someone was to go, oh, did they did they have their baby? And I'd be like, yeah. And they're like, oh, how was it? And I'd go, oh, fortunately, there were no birth defects. That's a weird thing to say. That's bizarre. All right, never mind. I've just explained it. Like, you'd go, oh, the, the child is healthy. Like, I don't know. You'd be like, oh, what? Before Evelyn, she was pregnant twice. But tragically, she had lost both pregnancies from having two miscarriages. Ever Never mind. Now, okay, I shouldn't have paused and reacted that soon. Now, now that makes a little bit more sense. It still isn't how I would have worded it, but now I understand what he's getting at. Now I feel like the dick. Now we all, now we're all the dick because you guys joined in with me. Now it makes, yeah, context is helpful. We really reacted too soon. That that's the problem with live reaction content. Yo, if this was a YouTube video, I would have went, oh, and then cut that part out. But here we are living it in the moment together. And uh, now, now, we're, now we're the dickheads. Uh, yeah, now, well, apologies. Uh, 
Let's just uh since experiencing this traumatic event, Joanna has been very caring towards Evelyn. She would constantly look over at the baby monitor to see what she was up to. But one day, she had looked over and saw the strangest thing. While checking he on He should Evelyn have started with that. Yeah, he should have done. No, it, I think it is weird to lead with that. I, I still... I, I, he's now less in the wrong, but it, it was a weird way to lead Evelyn, it. She sees this. Okay, so she's watching Evelyn on the baby okay. monitor. Okay. But the Thomas thing wasn't even this... Oh, don't piss me off. I hate when he uses different baby cam footage in the thumbnail. And I guess because this baby cam footage isn't great for the thumbnail. But I hate... Oh, it makes me so mad. I feel clickbaited so badly. Oh, okay. That's not possible. What the f is that? What? What is that? What is it? Look at the way... Look! It's lingering. Is it the light outside? Like... It is weird. That is a bit weird. The, there's no pinhole empty, like, the curtains, I pulled the curtains closed. That is weird. And it's not leaving. It's getting near her. It is also following the baby. That is bizarre, actually. Oh my god. Oh, she's like she, chasing it. Did she just touch it? Where did it go? A small ball of light can be seen floating around Evelyn's crib. It seems to follow wherever she goes and doesn't This seem would also to be anywhere. incredibly difficult to edit. I'm not saying it's impossible, but like, it, it, you know, it, 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 it's a weird, like, it is a bit, it'd be hard to edit. Else beyond the crib. You've got to like track it to the motion of the moving camera and stuff. Like, that is hard. This is the only one today that is somewhat believable. That is weird. Even stranger is that Evelyn appears to see the ball of light and even chase it. It's as though whatever this is, is interacting with Joanna's daughter. Among many things, viewers believe this may have been one of the spirits of Joanna's unborn my children said, playing with Evelyn. Hey, Others think this might have been a guardian. Anything, dot, but I just wanted to let you know, Dot, you will always be a sopping wet cat that eats cement to me. Good night. All right, thank you. Sorry, Jack. It's me in the video. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not scary. Just need a friend thumbs up now. Give us a smile, Jackie boy. But, uh, no, someone said in the, uh, someone said in the chat, uh, like, uh, what did they say? Hold on. Girl forgot she could just go grab her kid. Yeah, like, this is the thing. Like, like, someone said, what does she think she's playing for now? You can go get the kid. Like, it's a fair point. It, it, like, surely you'd look over and be like, that orb is, like, like persistent. I'm going to go check the room. It is weird that your first instinct is just to film and leave your child in the room with this mystery orb. I, I think if I was a protective mother, I'd go in there straight away. Twice now. Can you please say happy birthday? Oh, I apologize. Uh, happy birthday, Kitty, Kitty Tori. But yeah, I don't know. Like... That's the only thing. This video I was kind of on board with and believable, but now someone's acknowledged that. It is odd behavior to carry on filming it instead of, I don't know, like going and checking in the room to see what it is. You know? I can never tell if these are fakes or the person recording is silly. Well, that's the thing, right? Vlog instinct greater than mother instinct. <laughs> Content creators be like, Angel yeah, it is or an entity of some kind. Regardless she isn't replaying the footage because she's moving the camera actively, so it's real time. This might have been. Joanna feels comforted by this mysterious presence. To her, it's as though something else is looking over Evelyn. Oh, well, if she's comforted by the presence, that explains why she didn't run in there and try and sort it, I guess. Given how much she cares for her daughter, she doesn't mind having something else look after her child. I don't know if that's quite... Alright. I don't know if I quite agree with that mindset, but... This next video was recorded by two friends who caught something very strange... Ooh, caught a fucking obelisk! What's this? I think this object's worth acknowledging first! Seems very out of place in the woods. What is this? What? Also, this looks like the bobcat trail, I agree. Slender man. <laughs> ...walk through secluded forest. Both friends were shooting a video for a small project. But little did they know that the spot they were shooting at. Oh my God, is this Marble Hornets? Someone like did slow down and then like they were filming something for us. Is this Marble Hornets? Is this real IRL Marble Hornets? So uh, what if someone had just sent in Marble Hornets to this and like the guy thought it was real? That'd be funny. Had a chilling history. The story goes that a few years ago, a boyfriend and girlfriend were camping somewhere deep inside this forest where nobody could see them. 
The reason for choosing this spot was so that no one would catch them doing drugs. <laughs> I really thought he was going to say having sex. I, I, and I'm sorry, but I just, I just, my brain was so ready to hear that, that when he said doing drugs, it really uh, superseded my expectations. They just came out here to do like fucking blow. All right. But this was a bad idea. Probably suck it out. Within just really, a few it? hours of taking a hard substance, the boyfriend suddenly falls to the ground and begins to convulse. He had taken too much. Ah, uh, that's what that spice will do to you, man. Eventually passed away. Fuck. Immediately, the girlfriend began to scream for help, but nobody came. Yeah, because you were you, you hid away to do the drugs. That's again, that's that spice for you, man. Don't do drugs. Now, sadly, she too had passed away, but her cause of Stock image dead child hand? Surely not. Sometimes this channel, man, sometimes. Death remains unknown. Immediately, the girlfriend began to scream for help, but nobody came. Now, sadly, she too had passed away, but her cause of death remains unknown. She died? How, how did she die? My God, this is why you don't do fucking drugs. It wasn't until much later that the police. Wait, how? How could they possibly know? What? Wait, 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 wait. If she died too, how do they possibly have the account that she watched him fall down and scream if it was just those two alone? What? Yeah, how do they know this? Like, obviously, they can tell, like, someone overdosed because they'll do, like, an autopsy and stuff. But how do they possibly know that he died and then she screamed and then she died? Like, how, how, what? Police arrived and found their bodies. Ever since then, the forest has been said to be- It's an urban myth. It sounds like one. Be ...haunted by the spirit of the couple. Although some believe- She died later on? Yeah, I guess unless they, like, found her and then she died later down the line. That's the this. Way. The following footage has left many wondering if something haunts this place. The two friends are walking alone inside this forest when this is captured. What if I screamed to scared blood? Oh, uh, it's got TikTok captions on it. I'm already skeptical, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like, feel like it was filmed for TikTok, so we'll see. We've had, we've had one good one from TikTok before. They would mimic your scream. What? When this is captured. What if I screamed to scared blood demons? What did you just say? I realize I haven't had the subtitles on the whole time. The two friends are walking alone inside this forest when this is captured. Isn't it perfect, Rose? It is. It's very beautiful. What if I screen this kid? I can't even demon. begin to imagine this man's search history for various stock images, lol. Yeah, his stock... Yeah, I agree. What, what do they say? Hold on. Like, she, like, says something. She's like, what if I scream to, to scare the demons? Is that it? Oh, so they're going here... Never mind, it probably is fake. They're going here looking for shit. What if I scream to scared blood demons? They would mimic your scream. Oh. Who's bro? The fucking... The, the fucking... <laughs> I can't come up with a good one. You should have good at this sort of thing. I was gonna say, like, the demon... Ah, oh, what's, like, a good word? Like, for someone who's educated on something, but it's gotta begin with D. It's gotta be, like... Bro's, like, the fucking... Oh, no, I have a word. The demon deputy. Yeah, there we go. Who's brother? Demon deputy? The demon doctor? Why does he know so much? Thank you. Thank you for helping me out, chat. I really, I was, I was struggling. I needed like, I need the, the fucking demon dictionary. Here we go. I needed this. Fucking de the demon detective. Bro's the demon detective. Like, to, the, she's like, what would happen if I screamed? Ah, the demon would just scream back. The fucking demon detective over here knows his shit. Oh, that's... Blood demons. They would mimic your scream. Demon detective. Oh. That never scared me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That in the forest we're in. <laughs> you know what? I actually that was weird. I'm not necessarily thinking it's paranormal, but like that help was definitely is the help in the room with us. I heard it. I I, I could hear it. Everyone's saying they didn't hear it. I, I, I let me crank it up on stream. It, it definitely is audible. I heard it too. Can you like you you can hear it in the background. Oh.
You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not too loud, but it's definitely there. Sorry, me again. Can no, of course. Say hi to Sophie. She's making me featuring her, and she's making me watch your stream. I uh, suppose face time, you're I funny. Assume. Oh, thank you. I'm. She's making you watch. I suppose you're funny. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, the I suppose seems a little bit like, but but I like to think I am. So really, I mean, you didn't need to, but thank you. But uh, hi, hi, uh, Sophie. Anyway, maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. That in the forest we're in. <laughs> Just found like a perfect rose on the floor. I'm not sure I heard somebody help, but I did hear a, a, a scream again. Upon listening closely, I'm not convinced they've heard anything paranormal. I think they've accidentally like filmed the fucking crime scene. The sound of faint screams can be heard coming from the forest. The two girls initially shrug it off as they think it might be some kids playing around in the woods. But as they continue to listen, they begin to realize that the screams are getting louder and more frequent. Like it sounds like someone's in real danger. I don't think this is paranormal. The more you listen, the less scary it sounds. <laughs> Who is this sociopath? What do you mean? The more you listen, the less scary it sounds. Shut up! For your TikTok. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. I just sound like one of those now. Oh, you gotta <laughs> Yeah. It is weird, but like... I don't know. I don't think, bro. They're laughing. Yeah, I don't think it's. I, I, my my jump wouldn't be paranormal. So the screams seem to be coming from someone who needs help. However, the some people are suggesting that it could be a, a skinwalker, but I I'm like I'm not. Um, I don't know. I, I get that that is one of the things they supposedly do right. Like they cry for help to try and like um, you know lure people in but i don't know it sounds awfully scripted oh you think it's like they they have friends like over in the distance maybe that's probably gemini home entertainment moment yeah it does sound like that but like still yeah I i'm willing to believe that because they sound young voices as do the kids filming like, it could just be, like, you know, fox screams don't sound too much like women screaming. That they, they, you can tell. Like, I, I've, I've had that happen at night. I was, um, I was once asleep and uh, someone woke me up and they were like, shit, can you hear those screams? I think someone's in, like, trouble outside. And I, like, listened. I was like, oh, no, that's a fox. We get foxes around here. That is just a fox. Like, you can tell. They sound similar, sure. But I think if you listen, you can like, go, oh, it's, that's a fox. Because foxes make horrible fucking noises. Uh, when they're mating, it's their mating calls. But yeah, everyone, someone was like, "Oh fuck, someone's getting like we should call the police." I was like, "No, no, 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 Wait, give it a second. And I was like, "No, it, it's it's just foxes mating, like it's it's fox mating season. That's all." Source of the screams can't be found. I fucking hope it was anyway. Otherwise, I'm a dick. Given the history of this place, which is said to be haunted, the two girls quickly fled in a panic. It's unknown as to who was screaming. But many viewers think that calling the police would have been the right thing to do, as it could be that someone was crying for help. Oh, so at least you agree! Christ, yes! Unless it is their friends, and then obviously not, but like, I'm glad you agree that the more likely explanation here is someone could be in danger before ghost. In which case though, if you agree with that, why would you put it in the compilation? That's what I don't get. Why, would, why on earth would you put it in the compilation, given you also just reckon it's people in danger? While some believe that this might have been the spirit of the girlfriend who passed away in this forest, others can't help but think oh. that this was an actual per- Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's the echoed screams of the girlfriend crying for help because her boyfriend got fucking spiced out. ...person in need of help. If that's the case, then this video becomes a whole lot scary. Now the- A whole lot scary? Wouldn't it be scary- The girls eventually did call the police. Oh, they did. Oh. 
Oh, then why did you rag on them saying people think they should? You got me to do a whole bit on stream where I call them- Oh my god, every- This guy keeps baiting me into like complaining about shit and like making a comment and then he turns around and he's like, eventually they did call the police. Or like he explains why he mentioned the birth defect. Like, why does he keep doing these things after the- LEAD WITH THESE LINES! LEAD WITH THIS STUFF! Then I- Oh my god, you- This is- you, This has been a rough reaction. Live streamer moment. Yeah, exactly. Just- Things being live is a nightmare. But the rest of the story is unknown. So then, just what exactly- He just wants me to look like a dick. This guy has figured out that I watch all of his videos, because this is his most recent one. I've been watching his videos for the past, like, six uploads. He's realized he's just trying to get me to cancel myself. Like, so I don't- I don't fucking stream these anymore. What's going on inside this forest? As with most videos whose original source is unknown, this one remains a mystery. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Well, that's this video. Ching, and I Thank you, Bizarre Bub. Thank you for making these, as I say. Um, let's- let's- let's do our review. I would say the only one that I even partially believe today is this one with the baby. Alright? That is a little bit weird. It seems difficult to fake, and although the mother's reaction is slightly not what I would do, I get it. Otherwise, I don't think anything here has me convinced. Um, I think this is just... I don't even think I could rate them. The only one I maybe... Like, honestly... Like, the, the, this, uh, this one with the mother... Like, I'm kind of like... I'm a fence-sitter with this stuff. You know, the one where she thinks she sees angels? I'm a fence-sitter with that stuff. I put that at second spot for most believable. Uh, and then... Um, Honestly, you know, to be completely honest with you, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the, the the motorbike guy is honestly probably my third most, and I don't believe it for a second. I think it is just a bobcat, and then he faked it. But, like, fuck, this has been a weak one. Uh, the weird cryptid on the stairs from the flood. Probably forgot about that one, haven't you? Uh, this one's just definitely fake. Uh, and then this one is almost certain. Uh, you know what? Actually, no, the most fake is fourth wall, and then probably this one is, like, second most fake. Uh, but there you are. That's my review. Either way, let's watch something else, shall we? I won't be watching Simon Colby. Their videos are way too fucking long. I have to do it like a whole stream dedicated to them. That 20-minute video took us an hour and 30 to watch. So we, we, we don't have time to watch a Simon Colby video. They're just too long. However, uh, someone mentioned earlier another channel that they said I should check out. I'd be willing to give that a look. Uh... Where is it? They commented it earlier. Uh, let me put the music back on while we uh, while we look for this. Twin Paranormal. That was it. Twin Paranormal. Let's have a look. What's this channel like? Okay. Oh, their videos are also fucking really long. They got that Sam and Colby thumbnail style down, though. The Real Conjuring House. I wonder if we could... I, I don't think I'd be down for visiting that. I think that'd be too much for me. Like, I'm willing to visit a lot. Do they have any shorter videos? It does not appear so. That was a Lele puns. It does not appear so. That's a shame. Life of Luxury. Uh, they had an issue, right? I, just, I saw something about their channel the other day. It's like it's like they, they they made a tweet the other day, or like that's it. Yeah, they've had to like stop Life of Luxury. It's really fucking sad. So, uh, it's been an amazing uh, experience for us to produce Lives of Luxury. Fortunately, we've been forced to end our series and stop uploading on this channel. Our MCN Scale Lab pranks have been illegally holding our earnings. Currently, they are holding six months of our ad revenue, which we have not, we have not been paid in months, and they made it clear that we'll continue to hold and not pay as our earnings. This means that we're making and will continue to make zero dollars from Life of Luxury. It's been absolutely heartbreaking to us and everyone on our team. We love this channel, we, our fans, and everything we create together. We've personally been making videos together since we were kids, and it's always been our dream to be YouTubers and create content that millions enjoy. We've truly dedicated our lives to this. At this point, we're not sure if we're going to be able to 
to afford keep to keep filming videos as we have no income from the near from the seven million subscriber youtube channel we've created scale that pranks have made it clear that we'll continue to haul our revenues uh so we're planning to delete our content from this channel they are collecting 100 percent of the revenue we make please stay put on uh, for updates as we'll try and move to other platforms What it's fucking awful. Like fucking MCNs are the worst thing to hit YouTube. Like, uh, th th like th they were so essential to classic YouTube. It was the only way to make money back back on YouTube back in the day. But like nowadays, you do not fucking need an MCN. So when I see these like creators who are just like trapped into these fucking foul contracts, bear in mind, in six months, these guys would have pulled like fucking ten million views. Like th there is so much money there being robbed. It's foul. Like, it's actually fucking foul. You hear about it so much. Just fucking awful, awful MCNs that just... Like, terrible contracts that these YouTubers fucking enter into. Like, we've caught up with their content. Like, I, we could watch some of their backlog, but, like, I just... I, I feel wrong just fucking sending more money over to the shitty MCN when I know full well it isn't going to these guys. You know what I mean? Just what, like, a fucking shit thing to happen. Puts me in such a foul mood. Like, we can still watch it. Just It just leaves a sour taste in my mouth when I know revenue's going over to some dickheads that stole money. You know what I mean? <sighs> Hold on. I need, I'm also going to need a drink of water. You can play the poop killer? What? What are you talking about? The poop killer? Is that a video on this channel? Watch Everyman Hybrid. I actually do want to start watching Everyman Hybrid, I think. Oh, I can't type. Because this is, this is like, it's similar to uh, Marble Hornets, I believe. The only thing is, it is also quite long. It's not quite as long as Marble Hornets, mind you, but it is, it is a good few hours of uh, content. But it's also based on the same thing as Marble Hornets, right? Like, it's, it, it surrounds, like, Slenderman and stuff, I believe. Or, like, the operator. Luxury Dark is their second account. What do they do on Luxury Dark? We can have a look at that. This is one of those. Ten, ten months, we who. Thank you, Hanoot. God, these guys bang views. It's, uh, it's fucking impressive. We used a dark web dating site. <laughs> Girlfriend. All right, fine. They've intrigued me. Just like slightly weird images of women. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm willing to give this a look. This website is to find a girlfriend that shares your interests. I just don't think that this is the girl in the pictures. So it's been a couple nights since we were on that site. And I hear some Maybe you can watch the new Watcher Ghost Files. The guys that used to be BuzzFeed Unsolved. Oh, really? I didn't realize they uh, still had a channel. That could be really interesting. We've started this now, but maybe next time. Absolutely. I think it's three quid. Bro, you did not invite that girl. I did. Come on. Go let her in. I'm just gonna... <laughs> 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 this just seems like normal, like, 20-year-old man bit drama. Just like a friend disapproving of a man, uh, his friend's date. That, like, that's it. He just went on a dating site and he's like, you did not invite that girl. She was, she was lame. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a watch. <laughs> She's going in for the kiss, bro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Luxury Dark. Thank you so much for 2.5 million subs. We haven't uploaded in a bit because we've been making some crazy content on Life of Luxury. For more Luxury Dark episodes, let's smash 100,000 likes on this video. Yes! So for this episode, Chester says he found a new dating site on the dark web that connects- What on earth, by the way, would you possibly, possibly go to the dark web for dating? Like, like that, that, that's the, like, like the narrative's so funny. Like, it, it's not even funny. It's actually like, if you, if you deep it, it's really dark, but like, obviously it's just like a bit because they're just pl like 
ragging on the fucking dog. I have dog a grasshopper. Meme. What should I name it? Uh, uh, Gerald. Um, Your uh, perfect match. Now these dark web dating sites haven't worked for us in the past. We found another girlfriend on the dark web, and this one isn't even like some freaky cryptid. It's just like a rude woman. <laughs> I, I I almost prefer this. Like the idea that like it's not even like she's not even like some like freaky cryptid. Like 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 it's like even a hard thing. She's just fucking rude and she like destroys the house. <laughs> oh. But Chester's convinced that this time he'll find true love. Okay, let's sit down and check out this site. Okay, so uh, let's check out this new dating site. I just saw Chester's okay, so eyes. This is the site here. Uh, it looks like they. <laughs> what are these fucking bizarre images they've used? Just like they've just blurred her eyes. They've given her no eyes. They made her really tall. They they've just given a new face to a pregnant lady. They put a new face on Mildred, and uh, <laughs> it's like fucking Walton Files esque. The people on here look pretty interesting. Okay, so looking through these people, we have Clant, Petunia, Mo, Poe, Ulcer, Mildred, and Prudence. So what, what, makes you what about Glop? Why are you ignoring Ulcer, Glop? Mildred and Prudence. Why not would you ignore Glop? What's wrong with Glop? Nah, bro. Fucking justice for Glop, bro. So what makes you think this is a good site to? I also love that only, like, two of them have actual human names and all the rest are just like, Squee, Flea, Glop, Jblop. <laughs> it's just it's fucking made up words. Find a girlfriend on. Bro, the point of this website is to find a girlfriend that shares your interests. Okay, so you match with people based on interests? Yeah, dude, and if they think you're cute. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm kind of <laughs> interested to see what the girls on this site are interested in. So uh, let's look at uh, this one. Let's look at Glop, bro! Okay, so it looks like she's only three miles away. Interested in ant baths and skin shedding. So she's going to sound like your interest. Oh, uh, let's go back. It said kinda, yeah, at the top of the screen. It's not a yes or no, but okay. Wait, let's check out Petunia. She looks cute, right? Yeah. Check out Glob, bro. Oh, I. In the pictures, dude, you can't lie on here. It's probably like illegal or something. Bro, this whole site feels illegal as it is. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it is a dark web dating site. To be fair, probably probably don't have My much in the way of. Says, "Let me in your home. I can't stop scratching until it stops hurting. The pain makes me feel so alone. Make the scratching stop my head from the bad thoughts." And then she's got an interest below that of hearing people chewing, dude. Something sounds seriously wrong with this girl. I agree. Stop, bro. She's just lonely. That's a red flag. Bro, that's a red flag. Don't let... He's fallen for it. He's in. He's been reeled in. This is how dire it's gotten for him. This isn't a red flag to him. Not the chewing. I, I more meant the scratching and the bad thoughts in all caps. That was what really put me off. That was a, that's a red flag for me. All right? Probably. Don't worry, she just likes ASMR. Again, uh, uh, oh, actually, scratching is also ASMR. The bad thoughts is really the big thing for me. I, I, I tend to steer away from people who, who, who upon meeting them, stress about, uh, you know, bad thoughts. I like her in person. I think we should get to know her. Why don't we invite her over? No, dude. I, I don't trust this. And it's clearly not the same girl from the picture. Well, let's just talk to her. You don't have to meet her. Dude, I don't want to talk to her either. Why do you want this girl so badly? Hi. Would you do me the honor? <laughs> Dude, look, she was. I thought it was really gonna. Uh... <laughs> Hi, would you do me the honor of letting me converse with you, my flower? <laughs> bro's, got, bro's got like criminal wrist. <laughs> that fucking that old. <laughs> this is foul. Foul Riz. All right, whatever. I'm gonna. I, I, I've dropped myself off screen because there's too much going on. Okay, well, let me reel her in here. Also, give me. What's that say? Tell me your address now. 
Dude, look, she responded. Okay, well, let me reel her in here. I think you're the most perfect girl in the world. Why would you put a comma there? I really talk to girls. What do you mean? Is that weird? I think you're something kind of pathetic right now. Yeah, you're coming on a bit strong for a girl you've never met. Hold on. Let me check something. Oh, I thought he was going to drop some res. I thought he was going to drop some game. Bro, I didn't say that you could use my pictures on here. I mean, you said she's- He's catfishing! He's catfishing as his fucking friend whilst matching. I swear to God, right? I swear to God. It's one thing if my friend ever catfished as me, right? That is one thing. I would be pissed. If they were catfishing me as me, and additionally, they had dead Riz like that. That would be even- I- I- I'm- I would fight them. I would have to physically engage with them in- in combat. Right? Catfish is me, that's strike one. Have dead Riz as you do it, that's strike two, you dickhead. What are you- Oh. Foul. Foul. I'd be- I- Oh. Dude, right? Dude, you can't just use pictures of me for your dating profile. That's just not cool. Dude, you posted them online, they're public, anyone can use them. Dude, you have to delete this. <laughs> Why is he making an argument? <laughs> I, I don't want my pictures on this site. Okay, fine. Just give me a little time with it and I'll delete it. Okay, please delete this, okay? I don't want to see this again. Okay. Give me a little time with delete it. it. Remake the profile. We'll film later. Mm, I'm going to talk to her a little bit more. Hello. You are alone? If we meet in person, I can treat you like a goddess compared to peasants like me. It's just my way of joking. Lol. This guy is... Bro. He's blinded by Nash. That's all I'm... Uh, that's... It's... You know, whatever. Damn. This girl really wants to meet him. I think I got a surprise for Parker. <laughs> Foul. 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 Absolutely abhorrent. Okay guys, so it's been a couple nights since we were on that site, and I hear someone knocking at the door. Is she gonna be his girlfriend's like, here? I'm gonna go down. His girlfriend already? He just calls out his girlfriend like immediately. Bro. What? Your girlfriend's here. What are you talking about? Remember that girl on that site we saw a couple days ago? Bro, you did not invite that girl. I did. Come on, go let her in. Bro, I do not want this person here. Come on, don't be rude. Fine, I'll let her in. Dude, what? <laughs> like, Chester's just like pressuring him. He's just like, don't be rude, man. This is your girlfriend. I catfished her as you. You've got to deal with her now. She's from the dark Dude, web. Come on. I'm just going to open it. He's going to blind oh. her with his fucking Enough. huge camera mounted light. Why are her eyes still slightly blurred? That's really off-putting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking side eye to camera is insane. I I have genuinely I have seen friends be like be like infatuated with girls and 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 give this exact look this exact look I have actually witnessed in like nightclubs and shit. Uh, hi, are you Petunia? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the slight eyebrow raise. He looks at me, he's like, oh. Fucking hell. My god, I've watched it like that's the most authentic acting I've ever seen from these guys. I want to see that one more time. Uh, do you want to come in? <laughs> Fucking hell. That's hilarious. Okay, I'll shut this. Uh, hi, I'm Parker. Uh, welcome to our house. He seems like really excited to meet her now. Like, she was there. Dude, Bar Chester. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna sit down and talk to her? So, uh, Petunia, like, do you wanna, like, sit down and talk real quick for our video? I'm tired. Can I be wrong with you? Uh, I mean, I, I guess. 
<laughs> the fucking little grin. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, the fucking grin to camera. Oh, foul. Foul. <laughs> Look at that! It seems so genuine. Like, I've fully witnessed, I've fully, fully witnessed, guys, be exactly like this. Uh, I mean, I, I guess. He's like flustered. Uh, he's like, he's like, got go fucking butt flies. Bro, get a film with her. Uh, I mean, dude, she just said she's tired. I'm not trying to be rude. Bro, we don't even know her yet. Oh, she did a little squat. <laughs> what was he stressing? It was your idea, dickhead. We can go upstairs. Bro. <laughs> the little grim. Well, we have to film. Dude, just relax. Dude, we have to make content. Alright. <laughs> purse. Is he gonna look through it? Oh, oh bug! An evil roach! Oh wait, he didn't kill that? No way he didn't kill that. That's just out loose in your fucking house now, dude. It's gonna lay eggs, you fucking weirdo. Surely he went and grabbed it after, like, you know. That's foul. Boy, friends. Look, how did they get so many IDs? The fuck? How do you just... How did they get that as a prop? Can you just buy it? Actually, let me check Amazon really quick. That all these guys really have been on the dark web. Amazon. Amazon. Uh, uh, fake ID prop. Uh, I, 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 McLovin ID card fake. Uh, oh, actually, uh, driving license. Uh, it looks like you can get them. But for some reason, all of them are si Santa? Am I doxing my address by showing you guys this? Okay, no, I'm, I'm, it doesn't, I'm not signed in. Um, yeah, it's just like all of them are, are, are Santa, like, international flying licenses. Like, pretty much all of them anyway. Which is really weird, like, that one's even, like, from the movie The Santa Claus. These ones- why are they all sa what? What a weird- Alright, well, I'm slightly freaked out with the fact that they were able to get that many. Bro. Bro. Can't just burst in, bro! I just don't think that's something I'm willing to change. She's trying to change my man already. I don't like. I don't like her. I don't like her at all. Dude, what are you doing? I said we would film later. No, what are you doing? Why are you sitting with her? Dude, just calm down. Chester's getting mighty, mighty possessive. I think he's jealous. Why are you being like this? Dude, I think there's something really wrong with her. I found these IDs in her purse. And, wow. and, he, and he's just saying it in front of her, like, you know, a sane person would, as not to upset the crazy person that they've invited to their home. Look into her purse. Give me that. Dude, she had IDs in there. She's messed up. Listen, bro, you're being rude right now. You need to stop. Ooh. Bro, I need to talk to you. She, like, looked at the camera Dude, with a fucking creepy there. face. She's messed up. Listen, bro, you're being rude right now. Look at that. You need fucking to stop. Hell. Bro, I need to talk to you right now. It's important. All right, just give me a second, okay? Huh? Wait. Oh, he's pissed, bro. He locked the door. Parker? Parker? It's ridiculous. Nah, he's about to fuck. He put the music on and everything. Nah. That, that ain't cool, bro. Okay, guys, so...
Parker really doesn't want me in his room right now. I don't know what he's doing with that girl, but <laughs> I really don't trust her. So I'm basically going to stay awake down here until he's ready to talk to me. Okay, so I hear someone coming downstairs. Baby. Hey, bro needs to drink some milk after that shit. No. Down a pint of milk after that shit. A ring of sweat around his neck. Holy shit! He was at it for hours. What are you doing? What's up, dude? You shouldn't be alone with this girl right now. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I know, dude. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna be back in a little bit, dude. Just, just wait here, okay? No, no, no. Wait. Bro, that shit's gonna Get be back. crazy. He's, he's my man. My man. My guy is hardly cognizant. Bro, he got his soul sucked out. Oh my god. He even left out the OJ. Damn, we've got him fucking. Okay, so it's been another couple hours or so. Parker hasn't come back downstairs yet, but I think I just heard his door open. I'm gonna go upstairs. My God. Hey, let's look in Parker's room. No! Don't! You're gonna see some shit you don't wanna see. Are we gonna get jump scared by her? Parker's asleep. I think she's in the bathroom. Okay, completely normal behavior so far. You're gonna film her in the bathroom! Chester, you're a weirdo, bro! Let your boy just fuck! Get over it! Oh, you're weird! You're weird! Oh, what are you feeling your feet for? You're weird, brother. My head's gonna. Oh, never mind. She's removed her skin. Oh, no, it's her arm. What the hell was that? I thought we were going to see her face, aren't we? Parker! I think she saw me. I think she saw the camera, mate. Why would you possibly open it? Oh, no, Are you it's... just recording Petunia in the bathroom? Dude, she's not who you think she is. Completely reasonable thing to be like pissed off about, by the way. Even though she is some like weird cryptids. She doesn't even look the same anymore. Do you have any idea how sick what you just did is? Dude, I'm not reasonable. I need to talk to you. You're jealous, Please, bro. You're possessive. You're weird. Okay, fine. Let's go sit down and talk. Okay, finally. Okay, talk to me. Also, I love- I, I kind of figured that it would be like a double bluff with like the fact that he came down and like he was like- he, he was like sweating from having had lots of sex. Uh, I kind of figured like the narrative would be like he goes back up and we find out that they're not having sex but she's like like draining his energy or some shit. But like they- he's now back to normal again so that totally isn't the narrative. I think he just actually had sex. What's going on with you? Bro, why are you getting so close with this girl? What do you mean? There's something wrong with her. I've been trying to tell you this all night, and you won't listen to me. Dude, I don't understand why you're acting like this. Why didn't you want me to be happy? Reasonable Wait, things to say. I... She's normal again. Hey, babe, who are you? Oh, no, she isn't quite. Bro, you gotta be joking. Isn't that Glorp? Isn't that no wait, that's uh that isn't Petunia, that's uh that's the first girl I looked at, right? Hold on. Eleven fifty two we were at, so just remember that. But like I swear. Petunia, she looks cute. Isn't that prudence? It's not a yes or no, but okay. Wait. Isn't that isn't that what prudence looked like? It's not Glorp! 
It's obviously not Glort, but it might be Prudence. I'm interested to see what the girls on the baths. Right? Isn't that what she looked like? Oh no, okay, it's a bit different. Bro, you gotta be joking me. What? A Look glop, her. sorry, not glop. Disgusting. Bro, that's enough. You've been What is he pure rude for? Like she looks a little bit weird, but like rude and annoying all night. I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. Put up with what? I'm trying to help you. Bro, why can't you just let two people be happy together? Dude, just look at her face. There's something wrong with her. That's it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if, like, like we're seeing this from Chester's POV and, like, he, she's a completely normal woman and he's just, like, delusional with jealousy? Can you imagine if you had a friend? Like, imagine if, like, she wasn't, like, some weird cryptid. Imagine you had a friend like that and, like, he, like, doesn't like your girlfriend and she comes in the room and he just says that. He's like, look at her face. It's, it's weird. She's not right. Like, can you imagine? It'd be fucking awful. Enough. You need to accept that I like her. A lot. I like spending time with her. I like talking to her. I like kissing her. Hey, oh! Either you accept her as my girlfriend, or you can get the hell out of this house. Girlfriend? Bro, what the hell are you talking you about? You described her as his girlfriend in the first place, dickhead! My god. Petunia, uh, let's get out of here. This is ridiculous. Let's bounce, no, don't babe. Don't leave with her. Listen to me. Come here. No, you listen to me. If you can't accept that her and I are dating, then I don't think we can still be friends. Bro, why don't you say that? And listen, if I see you recording her in the bathroom again, I'm going to call the police. Reasonable. Let's go, babe. Parker! Parker, don't go! Reasonable! Okay, so it's... Like, so far, she's, or... like, like, she has a weird collection of IDs, which is odd, but, like... You know, who knows? And she and her skin's weird. But that's fine. You can date someone with weird skin. As long as you're in love. Right now, I'm back in my room. I've been trying to get Parker to listen to me all night, but he won't. I just really don't trust this girl around him. I guess I'm just going to go to sleep now and try to talk to him in the morning. Okay, good night. Okay. Okay, so it's past five in the morning right now, and I just woke up hearing this weird noise. Listen. I think it's coming from downstairs. That is odd. Check it out. He's just like happy, so he's singing. Like it isn't even like something to be concerned about. It's a bit inconsiderate, but also his friend's been a dick. He doesn't really have to. I guess it was nothing. I feel like he's gonna get jump scared. I feel like we're gonna get jump scared as a result. <laughs> Damn, she got all tall what again. Do you want? Doing what? What? What is her? Parker! <laughs> Parker! <laughs> you just woke up. My god! I can hear Chester screaming for me. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He like, these guys just film 24 7. He just like immediately is like, oh, I just woke up, but I can hear Parker screaming. Chester screaming, better go check it out. Starts filming. <laughs> he like baits her out of the house and locks the door. She like runs at him, so he oh, <laughs> he runs out, gives her the old fucking ankle breaker, runs back in and locks the door. That's fucking hilarious. What the hell did you say to her, dude? Dude, she's not who you think she is. She attacked me, bro. She's a monster. She's gonna be like normal out there. You obviously said something to her. Dude, I could have got hurt. Why did you care? I knew you were gonna try something like. Cause this. he's been a dick all night. To be fair. I didn't do anything. Okay, I'm going back to my room. Just don't bother me, okay? Dude, come on. Thank you guys.
guys for watching this episode. That's it? it absolutely terrifying, and I don't think that we should go on one of those sites again. Bro, keep an open mind. Remember, let's smash one. Why are you now on board and you aren't? Like, the, like the, the video started that he was on board and he isn't, and then it flips, like, as the girl comes up. How does it end and they've gone back to their original position? Thousand likes for the next episode to be released. We want to show you guys a little bit of footage from our other channel, Life of Luxury. Click the link in the description to watch the full video and subscribe to Life of Luxury. We've already seen it, but also, shame, but that fucking channel is like... God, how many months ago was this? Oh, this was two years ago. Two years? This is one of- Was that third most recent upload? Two years? Oh my god. Uh, they got a jam manifold upload schedule.